She was intelligent. She was compassionate. She was strong. She had great ambition. And the woman at the center of those statements is Lydia Hamilton Smith, known by some as simply a housekeeper to Congressman and abolitionist Thaddeus Stevens. But in a new book titled An Uncommon Woman, The Life of Lydia Hamilton Smith, author Dr. Mark Kelly details a different story. She's a mixed race woman born in Gettysburg um, to a mixed race mother and a white Irish father who ended up coming to Lancaster in 1844 and joined forces with Lancaster's radical Republican Congressman Thaddeus Stevens. She built this, this real estate empire. She ran the risk of getting caught assisting with the Underground Railroad, and she did that heroic effort to keep Thaddeus Stevens alive in his last years so he could complete work on on the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. Kelly goes on to credit Smith as the most famous Lancastrian you may not know. It's stunning, but it's not surprising. And here's why. His executors ripped her off when she tried to get the, the money that Stevens dearly wanted her to have to thank her for her care of him when in, during his illness toward the end of his life. When you start looking behind it, you find out that it's that, that whole lost cause when the South set out to revise history they weren't satisfied with the version that, that was being put about in the North for the most part. But as the years go on, Lancaster residents are yearning to learn more about one of their own. She's a fairly new um, figure to me. Jody Blouch is a native of Lancaster and was fascinated by the discovery of the life and legacy of Smith. Although not confirmed, Smith was widely thought to be the companion of Thaddeus Stevens at the end of his life when interracial relationships were considered illegal. But for Blouch, that's inspirational. How persistent, how committed they were, how, and they were public, and they were proud. Um, they stood up for themselves simply by being who they were. In Lancaster, Michael Fuller, WGAL News 8.